GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungucha Jami. My name is Betty, I am your host today. And as I said to you earlier, this month I am going to be featuring couples who will be sharing with us their love stories. Today I have guests who is a couple and they are going to be talking about love without limits. I am so, so certain you want to listen to their story. If you going to miss this, please find us later on Facebook and YouTube on GBS TV Africa. My guests, you're welcome. Please introduce yourselves and the lady first. Thank you. My name is Doreen Obayo from Nandi Hills. I'm a mother of three, a wife and a daughter to, to Betty Obayo. Wow. Welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I am Hosea Stephen. I am also a husband and a father, and I'm also a clinical officer by profession. Wow. You're welcome. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Good to have you, uh, Doreen and Hosea. It's a pleasure to host you today. Uh, this month, we're talking about love stories of couples. And I'm really curious and anxious to hear what your story is like. I'd like to give Doreen a chance to tell us more. You said you're a mother, you're a wife, and you come from Nandi Hills. Yeah. Wow, Nandi Hills has such beauty also, I didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So you were born in Nandi Hills? I was born in Nandi Hills, mm -hmm. but raised in Nairobi. Okay. Uru Estate, mm -hmm. in a children's home called Magodo Children's Home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In a children's home? Yeah. Okay. Magodo Children's Home. Mm -hmm. I studied in Kangundo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What happened that you went to a children's home? I don't know what happened, mm -hmm. but I remember it was something to do with my mother. Mm -hmm. I think... He had, he had another husband, mm -hmm. then he, the husband didn't want the child. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it forced me to be taken to a children's home. Mm -hmm. yeah. You were the only child at that time? No, I wasn't the only child. Uh -huh. We were two, uh -huh. but the other child was taken by, taken the, by the, the yeah. Okay. But for me, mm -hmm. I, I, I first stayed with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Then my grandmother passed away. Mm -hmm. After that, mm -hmm. my mother took me to the orphan. Mm. Yeah. How old were you then? I was too young, maybe mm -hmm. around three years. Three years. Yeah. Okay. So now, who tells you the story after? After my mother. Uh mm -hmm. But I found myself in a children's home. Yes. When I started recognizing things. Mm -hmm. Then I asked about my mother. Mm -hmm. I was told, yeah, we were with my mother, by the way, in mm -hmm. the children's home. Mm -hmm. So he used to work, she used to work there. Oh. Then the, I used to be paid fee mm -hmm. from her working there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then later, mm -hmm. she, she went back to Nandi, mm -hmm. and I remained in the children's home. Mm -hmm. After... Class 8 mm -hmm. is the time I came out of the children's home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I started a new life, I oh. think. Okay. So did they pay for you even for high school or they just no, stopped up to them? No, I was just paid in the for primary. For class 8? Yeah, when my mother went, mm -hmm. then I was just... Oh, so after children's home, now where did you go? Because I was taken to eight. my auntie in okay. Madare. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I stayed with my auntie mm -hmm. for some, maybe two years okay. or one year. Mm -hmm. Then my auntie also chased me. Mm -hmm. There I started hustling, sleeping in the street. Mm -hmm. But God was so faithful. Mm -hmm. I'm where I am today. Okay, so how was your relationship with your mother during the time that you were in the children's home? 
now that you were able to meet her and she was working there and she were, she got married somewhere else yeah did you ever feel like she didn't love you enough to let you go to a children's home while she stays with another man did you feel like my mother has chosen another man over me by that time that wasn't in my mind but mm -hmm. after 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 finishing class 8 mm -hmm. i started asking myself questions mm -hmm. why did she take took me to the children's home mm -hmm. but i tried to ask her mm -hmm. but she become so harsh mm -hmm. and never answers my question mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so street life that's where yeah, you find life. yourself that's why I, i found myself mm -hmm. after i came out from children's home i mm -hmm. went to my aunt mm -hmm. then my aunt chased me mm -hmm. there my mother was at nandi Mm -hmm. So I I couldn't reach her because mm -hmm. I didn't have a phone, mm -hmm. no communication. Mm -hmm. So it forced me because I didn't know anyone mm -hmm. apart from my aunt. Mm -hmm. It forced me to go to the streets. I started sleeping in the streets. Mm -hmm. To Akibanda, mm -hmm. I find someone. There's there's no there's no there's no somewhere to sleep. I go and find I find some Akibanda. I sleep there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Kosea. Yes. <laughs> What's your story? <coughs> All right, sorry. sorry, sorry for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say I was born in Nairobi, but I come from I come from Migori County. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as she said, mm -hmm. and also my early childhood 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 life mm -hmm. was also sort of with full of challenges. Okay. And. Uh, for a very good part of my early childhood i never enjoyed that uh, privilege to stay with the parents mm -hmm. so i was i spent most of my time back in the village mm -hmm. with my grandmother okay. and grandfather mm -hmm. so but uh, later on when i started realizing that i'm a person and i'm a human being mm -hmm. and i could speak and i could do some other things then <laughs> I wondered why am I not wearing uniforms to be in a school mm -hmm. and I could not get an answer mm -hmm. so what I did mm -hmm. I took myself to school you took yourself yes, at did the you age, have uh, at the age of nine, I took myself to school at the age of nine, for the first time for the first time I just say let me go and see what happens what happens where these people are going <laughs> that was in the village a school called Obolo primary school uh -huh. so when I went there mm -hmm. I met a a teacher mm -hmm. i went to the lowest class that is nursery school mm -hmm. so i didn't know whether there was baby class pre unit middle class i didn't know that all those mm -hmm. so i just went to and knew it was nursery mm -hmm. and it was one class mm -hmm. he was sitting on stones yeah so i was welcome when was that which year was that mm, around 1995 uh-huh so when i went there in class i was welcome and i started learning Mm -hmm. I did my first term there. I, I actually remember everything because I was nine years old, so yes. I barely forget. <laughs> so I was nine years old, and then I went to nursery school. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I was short, mm -hmm. you couldn't tell my age. Yes. Because I was just like them. Even now, we cannot tell your age. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm now doing my 34 years now. Wow. So... When I went there, mm -hmm. I did my first term, mm -hmm. and I became number 16 mm -hmm. out of around 40. Mm -hmm. So the first 20 were being promoted to class one, <laughs> and you were irrespective, irrespective of the of the year of the term. Age, yes. So you we were being promoted to class one. So I went to class one, mm -hmm. second term, mm -hmm. third term. So I've been like that up to around class 5 is when mm -hmm. i came out of the village mm -hmm. came to nairobi mm -hmm. but again now my parents had challenges mm -hmm. with the, with the, with the job my father actually by that time mm -hmm. he passed on in 2001 but before he passed on he had issues with the school fees mm -hmm. no job permanent mm -hmm. job mm -hmm. so i found myself landing in the orphanage mm -hmm. so who took you my mom took you to the orphanage my mom took me there because mm -hmm. number one there was social pressure mm -hmm. social pressure as mm -hmm. in one she didn't want to believe with me because the family were like rejecting me mm -hmm. number two, there was no way we could survive 
mm -hmm. on this small income from the dad. Yes. Because we used to get uh, landlord closing the door each and every time. Mm -hmm. You spend a week outside, mm -hmm. the next day you move to another house, mm -hmm. you buy small things, you start life there again. After two months locked, everything remains there. Mm -hmm. You move again. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. So I had to go, we had to go to the orphanage. Uh, okay, we were, we were taken there, the, the three of us. Me, my brother, and my sister. Mm -hmm. But they never endured the life there, so they went away. Mm -hmm. But I remained because I knew what I wanted. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky to study there from around class four. Mm -hmm. Class five mm -hmm. up to around uh, April form four, mm -hmm. that is, let me say, mm -hmm. April form four. Though in secondary life, I moved Kidogo. Then from, uh, I went to form one, form two, form three in Twilight, mm -hmm. Kayole. Mm -hmm. But again, when things were more tighter, mm -hmm. I had to go back and Did I did you? my form four in that orphanage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same orphanage, that's why I knew her. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were not talking. You were issues talking. with the relationships. Yes. We, so we, so we, we never even thought one day. You, can, you would get married. Yes. And so I need to ask you uh, a very personal question. Yes. You know, how were your siblings? Were they like you are? Actually, in my family, mm -hmm. they all, let me say from the side of my mom, the side of my dad, mm -hmm. there's no one. It's just me. It's just you. It's me, <laughs> no one that, else. This is a question I should ask your mom. How did she, <laughs> how did that land on her? You know, you have given birth mm -hmm. to a son. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be celebrating and very mm -hmm. joyous. Everyone has come to see the baby. And then one year, I don't know how people grow, mm -hmm. you know, people of this nature, how they keep growing or at one year at the same, because you're 34 years. Yeah. You know? I'm now 34. Yes. So, at, uh, so there was you're, expectation. You're, you're stagnant at a particular yes. dur duration of time. You know, you don't she know. must have really gotten depressed because this is not something she has seen before. Yeah. You know. So how was it for you now that she's not here to be uh, mm. to answer? Yeah. How was it for you looking around and seeing everyone around me is seemingly normal? Yeah. Not to mean that you are not, but. <laughs> Yes, just mm. that, for lack of a better term. Yes, uh, to me sometimes it took me with a lot of uh, questions mm -hmm. and I could not actually accept mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. because when I started realizing, because when you go to school, everybody's following you. Yes. Especially these small kids. Mm -hmm. So they follow you and what is happening with me? <laughs> what is wrong? Am I not normal? Yeah, or yeah, what yeah. am I having that mm -hmm. they don't have? Mm -hmm. Or what, what is so surprising? Mm -hmm. So it's when I started mm -hmm. realizing. Yes, yeah, so at seeing. what point did you get to accept yourself and just be you and overcome that, you know, everybody else is different and this is me. Whether you follow me and ask me what not, I'm going to be fine. Okay, I, I, let me say, at the point of around 18 years. 18. 18 years is when you start realizing that now I can't change anything. Uh -huh. It has to be what it is. 18. Uh, 18. You can't change. Okay. It has to be what it is mm -hmm. and you have to move on with life. Mm -hmm. And now you start looking at what can you do mm -hmm. and what can you not do. Mm -hmm. And you go on with that. Where did you get the guts to propose to a woman who is taller than you? <laughs> <laughs> and so pretty, like the one sitting before me today. Oh, yeah. Okay, just like any other man, you know, after accepting that I am normal and I can do anything. Mm -hmm. So I never limited myself to certain things. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to look at maybe who is like me, mm -hmm. who is not like me. So I was mm -hmm. looking at everybody as me. Mm -hmm. So just the same way you can see a woman, I say, this one, I think I can try. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way. I didn't, okay, after separating in the early life mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. I never thought I would see her, her again. again. Because I never had a thought that she would be my wife one day. When you were in, in school, you know, in when you're in school, orphanage. you can be looking at other girls, yes. but you don't look at others. Yes. So you can think, I'm, I'm really eyeing this one, mm -hmm. one day in Tampat. Mm -hmm. But... The one you're not thinking about mm -hmm. is the one God is planning for you. Uh -huh. so, how many did you? How many did you make a move on before 
<laughs> landing and, okay, uh, and, and the... receiving an acceptance. <laughs> You know, okay, you because can, I uh, imagine you try and someone says, Aish, mm, give me a break. You know? Yes. <laughs> okay, anyway, in my early school life, let me, let me just be honest, I mm. never tried. Mm -hmm. And even my high school, mm -hmm. I never tried. Mm -hmm. But now after finishing everything, so when I tried to see if I could get, mm -hmm. I tried around two people. Mm -hmm. Two people. And, Only. Uh, only two. Uh -huh. She's the third one. Uh -huh. So I just tried only two people, but they all, one of them actually lied, uh, pretended to be, but again, was seeing some, someone somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So I had to quit. Mm -hmm. And then another one the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one just told me that uh, because of family issues, mm -hmm. their family can't accept. Mm -hmm. So she's forced to go. Mm -hmm. So now we met on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And actually, I remember that day I was in, I was in college mm -hmm. at Kindo Adventist School doing my clinical medicine course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was in church. Mm -hmm. I was so, let me say, the, the, the preacher that day was somehow not uh, well, so I was drowsy. So I said, in, in case of sleeping, let me go to, let me take my phone. Then I went on social media. Mm -hmm. Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I saw her post uh, a certain picture there. Mm -hmm. Then I said, hi, can, we have, can I have your number mm -hmm. like that? At that time, there are no photos. Uh, no, it's recent. It's recent. It's recent. It's not so far. 2016 is not far. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So no, did, 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 were there photos? There were photos. Okay. So your Facebook. photo was there and her photos. Yes. Actually, she, we knew each yeah. other back. So oh. I had no time to introduce myself. I'm Steve. Oh. I'm like this. Oh. So I just went to Sarah and said, I'm looking for someone to make my wife. Straight. Hey, I, didn't, I didn't have to go to through several words. Uh -huh. I just said, kindly, please. I am looking for someone uh -huh. to make my wife. Mm -hmm. Someone I can move on with. Mm -hmm. Someone I can live with. Mm -hmm. Someone I can build my future with. Mm -hmm. That's what I told her. Doreen, how was that for you? You know, you had seen him earlier in the children's home. You knew him. Uh, was there any attraction? Mm, no. When she, when he sent me the message, mm -hmm. I actually I was like, where can I go with this man? Mm -hmm. It's too short for me. Mm -hmm. When we work with him, everyone just will just be looking at us. Yes. So there's no need of having him as my boyfriend or what. Mm -hmm. But with time, mm -hmm. I just came to. To accept it. How? How did you just get off from your standard? You know, you had a standard. Yeah. You were, you were so pretty. You of know. Course. You have your hair is pretty. You have uh, a nice face. You have a nice body. You know. So you didn't have. You know, people expect that uh, if you're going for someone who is. Um, I'm really running away from the word normal. I don't know which word to use. You could advise me on which which word you would the benefit of the viewers. Yes, okay. And we, so I just use normal abnormal. When, when you are okay <laughs> mm. and your standard is up here, you know, you are, you also have your own desire and there's something you're eyeing, there's a place you want to go. And so there are those things you have actually said a no to. You know, yeah. like there are people growing up, they say, I can never get married to a white man. You know, it is decided. Or I can never get married to a certain tribe. So before love grows and builds, they have usually decided never. It can never happen. But for you, you were able to have a second thought. At first, you were like, me, who, where? Where do I take this dude? And then now you change your mind. What made you? You know, for someone to change their mind, they would look at certain things. Like you would say, okay, uh, maybe he doesn't have this and this, but he has a huge wallet. <laughs> you know, they <laughs> say, they say, <laughs> you know, it is what wallet. he has in his wallet. What was it for you? At first, I mm -hmm. didn't. I came to, to, to love him by the time. But before, before I used to, to ignore him. Mm -hmm. He used to send me texts, but I ignore. I was like asking my friends, can you date this person? Then they tell me, no, for me I can't. Mm -hmm. Then for me I just follow them. Also I can't. Mm -hmm. But 
I came to, to learn him well. Mm -hmm. He's a nice man. Mm -hmm. With time, I, I, before I was dating a, a certain boy, mm -hmm. but when I compared him to him, mm -hmm. I saw it's better being with him than mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. because a lot of things, maybe mm -hmm. he used to like more girls, mm -hmm. not being attention to me. The, your previous boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't love me. Mm -hmm. So with Steven, mm -hmm. he, used, he used to be a good guy. Mm -hmm. Loving, caring. Mm -hmm. That's what made me at, be attracted to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's true, women really like to be loved. Women like to be treasured and mm -hmm. they like the attention. You know. Mm -hmm. So if you'd find that, you'd probably stay. Yeah. But there's the other thing that makes women really confused. You know? The society how do people look at me they would rather find me in a nice car a very beautiful house you know and it's okay even though my husband doesn't do one two three women are not so much uh, visioned like they don't look at things uh, deeply they are more visionary you know, and they prefer to, you know, what people see is what they would go with. Yeah. Yes. Men sometimes look deeply. A few of them look deeply. And so you would want to just have a show. As long as you have a nice dress, you have a nice car, you can flat people and tell them, I'm doing well. You know, how are you able to overcome that kind of stigma? and societal judgment to settle with Stephen eventually? Actually, uh, it was really hard at first. Mm -hmm. because, <coughs> but Stephen was not around with me. He mm -hmm. used to be in Kindle Bay when mm -hmm. I'm in Nairobi. <coughs> mm -hmm. So Sorry. we were just communicating, mm -hmm. talking through Facebook, mm -hmm. calls, mm -hmm. but we had never met, mm -hmm. as, as in after high school, we mm -hmm. had never met. Mm -hmm. So. I just said everyone has his own life or her own life to live. Mm -hmm. And after all, mm -hmm. I'm not doing things because of someone. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it because of me. Mm -hmm. When I'm happy, mm -hmm. that's what I want. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing else I'm looking for. And this man can give me the happiness that I need. Mm -hmm. So why, why should I refuse him because of the society mm -hmm. or because of my friends, mm -hmm. my mother? I just said, let me just be with him. So introduce him to your parents? To your My mom? parents, actually my mother knew him. Mm -hmm. I don't have a dad. Yes, your mother knew him from the children's yeah, home. Yeah, from children's yes. home. Mm -hmm. But when I called, I called her and told her, mm -hmm. actually I don't, I he just said, she just said, are you, are you sure you want to be with Osea? I said yes. Then she laughed. And she didn't say anything. Um, I'm, yet, I'm yet to ask you what is his strength, you know, that kept you and glued you to him. Because uh, it is also said that uh, people who have uh, some traits like him or people who look like him usually have a higher or stronger strength in another thing. Like the blind people, they may be very keen to hear. They would hear, you know, the lowest of voice, but they cannot see, you know. Same to the deaf. They may be able not to speak, but they can smell yeah. a very strong scent. I don't know what that was for you, but uh, Hosea, for you it was an 100% win situation. You're getting a girl who is not like you. Everyone is going to be asking you, what charm was it? <laughs> eh? Give us the secret. What was the charm? This girl is not ugly. Yeah, she's so. one of the most beautiful girls mm -hmm. that I've seen. Mm -hmm. And also, she's one of the most understanding women mm -hmm. that I've seen. Mm -hmm. I remember she told me to call her mom mm -hmm. so that I can hear what her mom will say. Mm -hmm. So I told her, send me the number, then she sent the number. I called the mom, mm -hmm. 
And the mom said, my son, I, I know you, but are you serious? You want to get married to my daughter? I said, yes. Why not? Okay, fine. For me, what I can advise you, just be serious. Take her seriously and be a good man. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she was our matron mm -hmm. at the orphanage. Mm -hmm. So also to her, I didn't have a lot of things to, to say. To explain, yes. To say that I'm sweet Steve, I mm -hmm. come from this, no. Mm -hmm. I didn't have much time. Mm -hmm. I think that was a very good uh, loop for me mm -hmm. to, to get through. Mm -hmm. And again, of course, with friends and with everybody else around me, even at, as at now mm -hmm. in uh, Mama Lucy, mm -hmm. where I am currently stationed, mm -hmm. even even yesterday, someone look at, looked at my phone and said, eh, a certain nurse then said, can you, can, can you tell us to, to show you his wife? Mm -hmm. So I said, now what's, what's so special about my wife? Mm -hmm. So it's like the way they're putting it, mm -hmm. they're putting it in a way that because you are this way, mm -hmm. You don't deserve the best. Yes. Somehow. Yes. So because you're that way, you don't mm -hmm. deserve the best. True. And uh, now for me, I, try, I tell them now, I deserve more mm -hmm. than even this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm so happy and so proud that I'm with her. Mm -hmm. She has been understanding and she has overcome mm -hmm. all the stigma mm -hmm. and all the, let me say, kutengwa. Mm -hmm. Those kutengwa f from friends. Mm -hmm that uh, now you're with this guy, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. we can't even invite you, the two of you somewhere. Mm -hmm. We're just satisfied and happy. And mm -hmm. she's also one of, that, the, one of the women who mm -hmm. understands how life is. Today you don't have, she understands that you don't have. Tomorrow mm -hmm. you have, mm -hmm. she understands you have. Mm -hmm. So I have never seen her post anything that I say. Mm -hmm. Unless if it is something which is not helping us, mm -hmm. then she'll say no. But for me, I have a contrary idea. Mm -hmm. Let's do this way. Mm -hmm. Then we follow that and mm -hmm. we are happy. Wow. Doreen, uh, when you go for weddings and family gatherings, people ask you, of course, many things. Don't you ever feel like you want to walk one meter apart? No. I decided and I said I want to be with him, mm -hmm. no matter how he looks. Mm -hmm. The, as the status, mm -hmm. so long as I'm in love with him mm -hmm. and he loves me, mm -hmm. taking good care of me, mm -hmm. why not be with him? Mm -hmm. He's a man like any other man, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. What any man can do, he, he, he does it better. So I don't <laughs> see anything <laughs> big, <laughs> true. <laughs> I know you want to tell me what he does best or his, the hidden strength. But you mentioned that you have children. His or you have children together with him? Yeah. Uh -huh. How many? Three, you said. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But two are not his. Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So at least, you know, he is able to also have children. Yeah. Huh? Because, you know, at first, people would wonder and ask, Interpata watoto kweli. You know. Yeah. Will I really get children with this guy? You know? Yeah. Yes. So what is uh, Stephen's strength? That uh, whatever challenge you face, you decide, I will stick with him for this reason. Stephen is a very caring husband. Mm -hmm. A very good dad to my kid, to our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, he, all the responsibilities is there. Mm -hmm. He takes good care of them, mm -hmm. good care of me too. Mm -hmm. So he's a gentleman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Hosea, mm -hmm. what is that, uh, what was that difficult bridge for you to cross when you thought of settling with this woman? Oh, yes. Of course, yourself, it. there mm -hmm, was, mm -hmm. yes. So, uh, with us, mm -hmm. with us, the short stitchers people, mm -hmm. you know, when you want to get settled, when you want to get married, mm -hmm. then you look at uh, your fellow short stitcher person. Then if you approach such a person, it's not that you discriminate them, but you are also one of them. Mm -hmm. 
but you look at the tasks ahead it's like a double task now that you have to you'll have to get someone else to do some things for you mm -hmm. or else then the, the houses should all be at at the places where you can reach everything mm -hmm. but now getting to someone who is taller than you mm -hmm. is also an advantage mm -hmm. but again some of them will ask themselves that now nikielewa na huyu now it means that i'll be doing everything in the house mm -hmm. it will be now taking care of him and again taking care of the house mm -hmm. double work mm -hmm. and again how will people see us mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. for me uh, the reason why i was think i thought of settling with Doreen mm -hmm. and even going to a course mm -hmm. which is also to us we are disadvantaged mm -hmm. was to tell someone that uh, no human is limited you can do anything that you can do mm -hmm. if you are able to do it mm -hmm. and you're willing to do it that is if you are short mm -hmm. you can marry a tall lady mm -hmm. and if you are a short lady you can be married by a tall guy mm -hmm. it doesn't matter you see so just you know when you don't do something then someone will say ah, for example if this table is here mm -hmm. and nobody has ever stepped on it mm -hmm. so all of us will believe that if you step here we'll break it mm -hmm. we we'll believe that mm -hmm. But when someone will come and step for the first time and it won't, it won't break, mm -hmm. then everybody else will say, now it is possible. Mm -hmm. I can step here and everybody, everybody, everybody else will be stepping. Now that I have done this, I mm -hmm. don't know whether there are some of us mm -hmm. who look like me who have already also have spouses who are taller than them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But for me, I am setting an example mm -hmm. where now they can also believe that if Jose did it, and it's like like me mm -hmm. why not me why am i fearing these tall ladies mm -hmm. why can't i just approach one mm -hmm. and uh, live with and make life comfortable you know it is the the stigma that comes from uh, the society the fear you know that what will people say that, that is, is the only thing that's the problem everyone is looking for happiness mm -hmm. sure. you know Everyone is looking to settle and be happy. The stigma is actually eating a lot of us. Mm -hmm. And even some of us end up uh, in the streets mm -hmm. begging. Mm -hmm. They keep they, they sit down with the cups mm -hmm. begging for money mm -hmm. from people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they forget that they have something special in them mm -hmm. that they can do something and earn a living mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. And even they can help those mm -hmm. who are still also begging. Mm -hmm. For me I never I look I didn't look at myself in that angle. Mm -hmm. I looked at myself as someone who is able. I, I, I may be able, but then I'm able differently, mm -hmm. not the way you are able. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. So I'm able differently and I can do better, even mm -hmm. more than you do. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. There are some things, even someone at the hospital, mm -hmm. some people call me or say, come and do this for me. Come and do this for me. Mm -hmm. It's not be, it's not that that there are no taller people there who can do better, mm -hmm. but just be, she or he believes in what I can do. Mm -hmm. So she ends up calling me. Can you help me do this? Mm -hmm. Then you do it gladly, happily. Says and you are, you feel happy that someone has recognized mm -hmm. your strength. Yeah. Even the consultants mm -hmm. can call you. The consultant will not come to the hospital hospital every day mm -hmm. but will always charge you with the duty mm -hmm. in the substantia. Mm -hmm. Then tell you, sir. I want you to do this and this and this and this and give me the report. Mm -hmm. Because that consultant believes that you can do that particular thing in that patient and the patient will get better. So if you believe that I am able to do it and you ignore the fact that I'm short, mm -hmm. look at yourself tall. Mm -hmm. Let your thoughts be tall, but physically you're short. Mm -hmm. Then you'll make it. Doreen, I know you have had challenges just like uh, any other woman in marriage what have some of those challenges been maybe in every marriage there's challenges yes of course but, but in our marriage mm -hmm. yes there are challenges mm -hmm. but maybe disagreeing with whatever he wants to do mm -hmm. and maybe him disagreeing with what i want to do mm -hmm. yeah that is that is very normal that's why couples argue, you know. You want us to go 
to your hometown and I want, you to, I want us to go to my hometown. That is always there. That is very normal for couples, but they always come to an agreement. So that is not a big challenge. You know, mm -hmm. there are people who have, you know, like you have uh, just in your relationship, you know, there's this that you really want this man to let go of. And there's this that you really want this woman to stop doing. Yes. What have those challenges been for you? Leave alone the, the normal things. People quarrel and argue like every day over, even over a meal. I want tea, you gave me porridge. Why? Just like that. That is very normal. Mm -hmm. Maybe a challenge is an SDM member, mm -hmm. but I was a Christian. Mm -hmm. Him convincing <laughs> me to join his church, mm -hmm. it was so tough for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you you but eventually I just end up because I love him. Mm -hmm. I just said, let me just do it because he, he wants me to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Jose, what what challenges have you faced living with uh, Doreen? You know, Doreen, my expectation would be like uh, now Stephen wants me to carry him to to board maybe a bus, you know. Stephen wants me to to carry him to do what, you know. Sometimes, you know, like our houses, the way he said our houses are not built to their level. So he wants to get something from high in the wardrobe. You have ironed his clothes and put them up there. So every time, Doreen, come and get this. Doreen, come and get that. <laughs> yeah, of course that one is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, just as I said, mm -hmm. It is a, like a double task, mm -hmm. and she's doing it freely. Mm -hmm. Yes, whatever I need. Sometimes even uh, I find her busy, then I want you to go and take for me that. Mm -hmm. Yes, kidogo taona, ah, mimi ni mechoka, but at the end of the day she'll go and do it. Mm -hmm. So and then I tell him now, I tell her now, mm -hmm. come as your wewe, whom do you want me to come to, to, to tell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are normal things. And again, mm -hmm. other challenges that uh, maybe she is not willing to say is mm -hmm. that uh, they are friends. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are kind of friends that uh, you look at a friend and you say, this is a good friend. Mm -hmm. This is a bad friend. Mm -hmm. This is a friend who can make me move from A to B. Mm -hmm. This is not a friend. This, this is a friend who can just make me stay at A. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So sometimes we argue. We mm -hmm. argue. I told her, I don't want you to go with with this person. Yes. But uh, she said, this has been my long time friend. Uh -huh. So you see? But at the end of the day, you end up accepting that uh, now mm -hmm. that I found her, mm -hmm. they were friends, mm -hmm. you can't uh, separate. And, and you know, that is what society, that is how society comes yeah. into our in, in, lives. In, in as much as mm -hmm. the, the friends respect me mm -hmm. and they give me the due respect I deserve, mm -hmm. I also have no problem with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes you see mm -hmm. from the human perspective, you say that this past, this friend, mm -hmm. Is not moving you to from point A to B. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you're adding. Just they don't add any value. Eh, but now again, mm -hmm. it's come and say all of them are women. Mm -hmm. You are a man. You have mm -hmm. to think more than a woman. So, yes. <laughs> so you come and you accept. You see, and you say it's, you anyway, have to raise your level of thinking. Eh, then you say anyway. Uh -huh. Let me just accept because in as much as I try. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. We end up arguing and we don't talk, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day we start talking. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow they start talking again. So what we look keep arguing every day mm -hmm. to no. let it go. Does it make sense? And you leave them to continue being friends. Yes. Um, Doreen, if you have been able to overcome, you know, the stigma that comes with society on this is the husband, you know, you go to the market and people say, Do le bonake, you know? And now with the friends that you have, are they friends who support your family? or their friends that are coming to make a decision? Of course, there are friends who support it, mm -hmm. but there are those mm -hmm. who does not support. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they tell me that you are so beautiful, you don't deserve a pair. Mm -hmm. It's too short, you can't mm -hmm. even go with him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I, just, I just make them understand mm -hmm. they can't do for me what Jose can do for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that for you is uh, a sealed, solid decision. Yeah. No one can move that from... No one can move it from me. <laughs> I already made my mind and uh -huh. that. Wow. That's, that's really interesting. That's really... Uh, okay, so the challenges that people face in marriage are uh, diverse, 
and also very difficult. And few people overcome such kinds of challenges. And people overcome mostly because they are not exposed and visible to the society. But when it is a visible thing, everybody wants to keep checking. How are they doing? How is it getting along? Now, you have children, you know. What is the perception of your children towards you? Because you can go to the extent of overcoming the stigma from the people because you have grown in your mind. But when your children go to school, now their father has to go to school maybe sometimes yeah. or many times, you know. They live in a neighborhood. You don't live in the moon, True. you know. And, and for me, I guess that this is a challenge you've got to deal with and tell them, eh, hey, and your baba. How how do you handle that? At first, the the, the children are playing. Then the kids ask him, ask them about their dad. Mm -hmm. Your dad is too short. Mm -hmm. Your dad is short, so mm -hmm. they cry. Mm -hmm. But with time, they just came and get used to mm -hmm. this is our dad. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. Until today, they are just normal. They, they know they are, their dad is the way, that way and it, it can never change. Okay. They have gotten to that understanding? Yeah. Okay. You know, kids can be so picky and also they can be really moved by peer pressure. That's and peer pressure doesn't end in one day. You know, as you move, new kids come to school, as you meet new people, there's always that fight. And so as they move from this estate to that school, and they meet these new people all the time, and these people are meeting their father for the first time. They don't even want to introduce their father to them. You know, uh, a long time ago when I was in a uh, primary school, it was a boarding school, there was that kind of life that people had uh, painted such that if your parents came in a nice car, then you would say, this is my mom, this is my dad. If they had packed for you chapatis and chicken, then you would say. But if they only came with uh, nothing or some boiled maize, you would say, my parents are not around, so they sent my auntie or my grandma who comes from around. Or if they came in rubber shoes, because you didn't want to identify with them, yeah. you know? Yes. So what is your experience like with the children? Yeah, at first, it was a challenge to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, with time, they came to accept. Mm -hmm. And they, at times, even when some other children teased them that way, mm -hmm. they could come home crying. Mm -hmm. Crying, oh, but you tell them, no, no problem. So nowadays they are fine. Even if you are walking, mm -hmm. they see you, they always run to you. Mm -hmm. You go to school, they will always run to you. Mm -hmm. You see the first mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. So they are proud. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. Now even if now they talk, they also say Babang in Daktari. Yes. Yes. Now they have they have now something, they have something else. else, you see. Yes. yes. And also they feel good when people ask them, Babako ako around. Mm -hmm. So they are also, mm -hmm. nowadays they are fine. They are really fine and mm -hmm. they take it as normal mm -hmm. and they respect you as a father. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think that God has a way to balance life mm -hmm. because if you were just left at that short stage and you were not uh, equipped with something else, then it was going to be such a challenge. Sure. You only going to, your identity was just going to be William Tumfupi, mm. you know, and nothing else. Nothing. But now, because God has gifted you something that is much better and stronger, so they would rather identify and call you mm. as mm. Daktari mm. other than William Tumfupi. Because mm. now your profession mm. has now uh, overcome and covered, you know, yeah. that which is your your weakness yeah. or your shortcoming whatever it is and that's what i kept asking doreen you know what is that one thing i mean there are a lot of very loving and caring men who will do you still everything not every man is a cheat not every man you know uh just to waste their finances with other women or do all those kinds of stuff but there are also men who are just normal and they care for their families, you know? 
Yeah. So like I told you, a blind man may not be able to see where they're going, mm -hmm. but they have another very stronger scent than the other. And that's what I kept asking you. What is that strong thing you have seen in Stephen that keeps you sticking there, other than just him loving and caring? A lot of men do that too. Actually, mm -hmm. for me, I'm not that much learned, learned mm -hmm. but he is. Mm -hmm. So I have kids, mm -hmm. and the kids need to be to, to have someone at least Mm -hmm. to teach them anything they mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. And for me, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I have a husband who mm -hmm. can do that. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me. At least he's learned. Mm -hmm. he, he knows everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So he has uh, unique giftings that you don't have. Yeah, true. So you're able to, he's able to supplement on what you lack. Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's really good. How long have you guys been married? Six years. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Doreen, have you thought of quitting someday? You know, sometimes people get so mad at each other that the money does not matter. We, we all know it's known all of about, you know, Bill Gates and Melinda. And I mean, now they're not together with all the money, the richest man in the world. We've heard about Amazon. I mean, it's not the money that keeps them, you know. Yes. Have you thought of, hey, mm -mm. I want to go? Yes, I, mm -hmm. I have ever thought of going. Yes. But because of my friends mm -hmm. pressuring me. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then Not to go or to go. Yeah, to go, to go. Mm -hmm. Where are you with this man? Mm -hmm. It's too short. Mm -hmm. Just go. Mm -hmm. Come, come. There's a lot of man who wants you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because of that, but I never. But you never went. Yeah. So it, you wanted to go not because of the problems you have with him, no. but just because of peer influence. Yeah. You know, it's so funny how peer pressure is also in married women. Yeah. <laughs> or say when that news reached you, you mm -hmm. know, I don't know if it ever reached you, but have you ever gotten to a place of heated argument where now I have to, I, have to, I need to quit? Mm -hmm. You know, for you, it may not come because... People have already told you you are lucky to get her. <laughs> People have already told you that. Mm -hmm. So you may even find flaws in her, but you will persevere because you're not sure you will get another woman. Like her. Mm. Yes. Yes, such, 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 such instances come. Mm -hmm. And when they come, mm -hmm. you find a way to put them in your lungs mm -hmm. so that when you cough, they go. And you remain. <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, uh, when I hear of her mm -hmm. well, needing or wanting to quit, mm -hmm. okay, uh, at times I don't like going much into argument with her. Mm -hmm. So I just keep quiet. Mm -hmm. Then I say, okay, fine. If you decide you want to go, it's okay. I can't force you to be here. Mm -hmm. But again, if you want to stay, mm -hmm. it's fine. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, is, it, it gets difficult in life. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, I tell her that in most of the t things that we do, mm -hmm. you'll on, you will not always expect to get a yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll get a wait and even a no. Mm -hmm. So if you get a no, mm -hmm. do you quit? How many quits will you quit? Because mm -hmm. if you go to... Steve, mm -hmm. then you see someone tells you, oh no, this one go, then you go. Then you go to John, mm -hmm. then again, of course, not everyone will love John. Mm -hmm. So a few also will tell you, ah, John, no, John, don't. So you we'll, we'll leave John again and mm -hmm. go to David. Mm -hmm. So how many will you leave? If you've decided to stay, mm -hmm. remember you cannot please everyone all the time. Mm -hmm. You can always please some and you won't please some. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you look at what is best for you. Mm -hmm. You say, how is this one helping me? And how is it moving me from point A to B? Mm -hmm. Then you go by that. You don't look at someone. They'll always talk to you, then they'll go. Do, do you at some time feel like uh, uh, you are here under pressure? or you're doing a favor to him, or 
uh, you are at her mercy? Okay, for me, mm -hmm. I don't uh, usually look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Because in the first place, at one point in life, I, I always believed that I would get married. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't know to who. Mm -hmm. But again, God gave me her. Mm -hmm. So I normally don't look at that as a having mercy on her or her having do, mercy on doing you. favor on me. Mm -hmm. I always look at it as God's plan. Mm -hmm. that we be together. Mm -hmm. She has her weaknesses, mm -hmm. I have my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So she has her strengths, like she, she cooks the best food actually. Mm -hmm. I've never tasted uh, somebody's food like her food. Mm -hmm. So she, And she's a chef, so she cooks a very delicious meal, mm -hmm. and which I've never eaten since I was born. Mm -hmm. So that is her, her, her strength. Mm -hmm. So And also I have my strengths, which mm -hmm. she enjoys. Mm -hmm. So we, we take ourselves that way mm -hmm. and we move together. Mm -hmm. We don't look at one person having mercy on the other one. We say that God made us meet once again. Mm -hmm. At this time, we, know we didn't meet as orphanage mates, mm -hmm. but we met as husband and wife, as mm -hmm. a couple, mm -hmm. and we have to move. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you handle relatives when they come or when you have issues you know, and you take to them. Do you take to them? Where do you take your problems? Mm. On my side, mm -hmm. the first challenge, the biggest challenge I got when I was getting married to her was my mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, I informed her that I want her to marry a lady. Some other people gave her again news, so she called me and said, no, that lady I don't want, stuck it, stuck it, stuck it. Then I told her one thing, I said, mom, it is me who is getting married, mm -hmm. and it is me who is going to stay with the lady, not mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want her, then also don't, you don't need me as your son. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that is my decision. And I, I, I hung up the phone. Mm -hmm. So later on, she tried calling, she was begging me, just talk to her, just talk to her. Then she picked up the phone. She spoke to the lady, to, to my mom. So they spoke, they spoke, they spoke. My mom asked for for hundred me forgiveness from her. Then is when she also begged me to talk to my mom. Then mm -hmm. I talked to mom. Mm -hmm. So from that day, mom never had any other issue mm -hmm. against her, mm -hmm. and that is the only person who was maybe. Now my my mom passed on last mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. So until she went to the grave, she was her favorite son, a daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. So that was the only part that I saw maybe was the challenge in the family. These other parts, uh, I have people I approach when I have problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, not necessarily family. Mm -hmm. Because from the family part, there are those who always will want to gain from you and not to support you, you gain from them. Mm -hmm. They will always want to gain from you. Can we get 500 shillings? You send. Can we get this? You, you send. <laughs> but uh, when you say now I have uh, this problem, I mm -hmm. need you to give me maybe 100 bob. It's, ah, you know, you make quite easy, you see. People will be going that way. Mm. But the few that I have around, mm -hmm. we share. Wow. Doreen, mm. where do you take your issues? To your peers? To your mom? Because where you, the way you solve your problems, problems are always there, whether there is love or not. You know, the way you solve them is such, uh, is very important on how you continue to live. Of course, I take my problems to my mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to your mom. So you were able to reconcile, and now you have a better relationship with your mother. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's nice. I I like the the relationship you have as a couple. Been together for just six years. I hope that you can live uh, longer together, still united, still coupled and raising your children in a, in a unit kind of manner, you know, united, because couples are separating uh, for many, many reasons. And most of those reasons, if you listen to them, they're so petty. If you can have love and enjoy the love, then I think that is most important. Despising and overlooking all other things that come around you, like your friends, 
and like your children, you know, because all those things can be a source of despair. You know, the people around you can be such a source of despair. Today, Doreen, if Hosea loses his job, what would you do? Of course, I would still stick to him because when I met Hosea, mm -hmm. he was not working. I was working, he was, was at the college. Mm -hmm. So I will just still stick to him mm -hmm. and support him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because if Hosea loses, if you lose your job, then he has no problem. He is the man he knows that the bigger task is on him. But you, when he loses his job, you know, so then Atabaki uh, took one to Fupi, he's not a doctor anymore, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so women, uh, a lot of women are confused when it comes to love and finance and finance seem to be louder than just love and without the finance to some people there is no love at all so they look at the size of the wallet and so I'm happy when you say that to you even if he loses his job today you will still stay in love okay I would like at this time that you give us your last words because we are out of time we're talking about love without limits. Uh, you could tell us what those limits were that you were able to pass. At least we saw that you were able to pass the limit of yourself and get to her. And she was able to pass the limit of who you were and get and accept to you. But now giving to other couples what your advice would be. I will start with Doreen, maybe. Okay. For me, I would advise the young lady, mm -hmm. when a man approaches you, don't look at the wallet. Because when you look at the wallet, sometimes the wallet will, will, end, will finish mm -hmm. and you remain with the man. Mm -hmm. So what will you do with the man? Mm -hmm. And you, when, you, when you went to him, you went because of the wallet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. On my part, uh, Talking to the young people out there, mm -hmm. and especially those who are uh, physically challenged, mm -hmm. not just short stature, we have different people with uh, different challenges. Mm -hmm. Don't look at your disability and stay there, but look at your disability as an ability. Mm -hmm. Use it to move to one step, from one step to another. Mm -hmm. um, go to these courses that people go to. Don't just say, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, there's a doctor, a medical doctor who is, uh, who is disabled and uh, he's not actually working, not just, he's using a wheelchair, mm -hmm. but he is a consultant mm -hmm. in medicine. Mm -hmm. So nothing is actually for those who are above. So everybody is able to do it. Just believe in yourself, trust in the process and you'll make it. With love, again, don't limit yourself, say, oh, this lady is too beautiful for me or too educated for me or too tall. Mm -hmm. Remember there is that space in the heart that only love can fill. It is not filled with money. You can't fill it with uh, any other physical thing, mm -hmm. but the affection that comes from the heart. Mm -hmm. So just go straight and talk to that person. Don't fear. The worst thing that can happen is a no. So if you're told a no, will you kill yourself? You go back. <laughs> you, you, you just go again, you see. There is this, I, I love, uh, in every forum I go, I love, it. I love it normally it, uh, referring to Jalango. Mm -hmm. the, uh, that is his word, saying, what is the worst thing that can happen? Mm -hmm. See, when he was getting his job at KISS 100 FM, mm -hmm. he didn't have any documents. He had whatever he wanted to do in his mind. So when people were asking, people were asking, if you have this, 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 come this side, this side, he, he was going to, those, to the side of those people who had. He was asking himself, when I reach at that panel, what is the worst thing that can happen? Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen will be told, my friend, you don't qualify for this, just go. Mm -hmm. And you go, you try somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So even you out there, the worst thing that can happen that lady maybe will say no, and you can't die after 
being told, being told that, that no, mm-hmm. you can't die. Mm-hmm. You just get another person. You try again. If you try 10, mm-hmm. one will say yes mm-hmm. and will move. Wow, wow. That's a, a very good mindset. That's a very good mindset to have. Thank you so much, Doreen and Stephen, for coming to our show today. It was a pleasure to host you and listen to your love story from where you started until where you are today. And we wish you a happy marriage for the many years you have to live together. Okay. Thank you also, viewer, for watching this episode at Chumbucha Jamie. My name is Betty. I have been your host. See you next time.